Withings Body Smart Scale includes an eyes closed mode that hides your weight. I got to get this scale, by the way. I'm a big fan of Withings. So you know. You know about this device? I don't, I don't have this, uh, this scale yet. Oh, okay. This like, is their new, new scale, right? Oh, so you have the previous one. Previous gen. Okay. It doesn't hide my body. I would not want it to hide my weight. <laughs> Some people would want that. The Body Smart Scale and app will measure and track your weight, but can do it secretly. But then eventually you're going to have to look at it. I guess maybe you're having a really bad day. Like, I don't want to see it today. Yeah. Wow, that's weird. That doesn't fit with my psyche at all. I would just be like, yeah. what am I doing? It's a scale to tell you your weight. I've, if I don't want to know my weight that day, uh, I just won't check. But then again, then you give up the, I guess, okay, so that's where they feel like it's going to fit in. Mm-hmm. Somebody is going to want to know at a later date what their weight was on that. See, for me, it's not even a calculated decision. Sometimes I just don't check even though i'm tracking over time some days i just don't bother with it Mm -hmm. because for me that's like one data point okay i missed one data point i'll live yeah but this is something to do with the psyche here uh withings has slowly expanded type of health data captured by its smart scales and over a year ago it announced its body scan scale so i don't have this yet it adds a retractable handle with four additional electrodes allowing it to record six lead, uh, six lead electro, electrocardiograms as well as provide body fat, mu- muscle mass, and bone mass measurement, measurements for a user's torso and their individual limbs. <laughs> that is so cool. See, I just think that's cool. Mm-hmm. It is not available yet. It should be available in the U.S. later this year, but today the company announced another addition to... It's smart scale line with fewer features, but also a price tag that manages to squeak under 100. So these are two totally separate products. The one I want is the body scan scale, which is not out yet. It's going to cost a lot of money, but it's going to give you incredible amount of feedback about your body composition. Right. This smart scale is like a toned down version. It'll give you your, uh, what's it going to give you? A BMR basal metabolic rate i mean it'll give you a lot of feedback still uh body fat and it's like a hundred bucks and you can hide your weight on it but i'm waiting for the other one with the handle you pull it out and you're like you do the whole scan Uh that's sick exciting i don't know what it is what what my attraction is to the kind of body tech like it's not even like i'm a fitness freak or anything it just feels like cool data to have like are you afraid of like too intrusive like knowing your sleep, like the company knowing your sleep and well, what are, your body weight, heart rate, all that stuff, biometrics. They're trying to kill me? Know. I'm trying to kill me? They're like, great, we finally have enough on him. Consider know. him dead. We'll send the... I guess health is a bit of a sensitive issue for privacy. More so than like internet habits. Yeah, well, it's very personal. Yeah. Is what you're saying. But I don't know. It's a tough one. Kind of yes, kind of no. Because I also realize that when it comes to health, huge data sets can be extremely helpful. Yeah. To improve like your lifestyle or something. But, but also when it comes to precursors to disease, once mm-hmm. you have these big numbers put together, you can all of a sudden come to some conclusions about early markers for certain potential problems that don't need to occur Mm -hmm. now the degree to which these are effective i mean they probably have to put all types of disclaimers in there and such but even the scale i have right now attempts to tell you things like vascular health Mm -hmm. like uh, actually analyze your veins and your like things beyond how a person would typically track health, they think, "Oh, I'm the I'm a certain weight, so that's the end of that. I'm doing everything great." And it's like there's all these other cool kind of markers you can look at as a as a feedback, and they're all relative to everybody else's markers. Yeah. So it's kind of hard to detach it. Like the, the bigger the data set, the more we can extract from it. But I also hear you where it's like people need an opportunity to opt out as well. Mm-hmm. as far as sharing of that data and so forth. And I don't I don't know exactly what Withings policy is. I know I clicked a bunch of yeses. You know, Except all. Much like <laughs> the, much like Tesla staring, staring into my soul as I drive uh, FSD. Uh-huh. And, and it's gotten so much more intrusive. I'm not going to lie, dude. It's so much more intrusive now. Why? I look away for two seconds like, look at the route, look at the route. Oh. I'm just like, oh. 
I get it, but it, it's there's people who don't have self driving who are more distracted than I am. When as I reach for uh, my mug or you know what I'm saying, like wow, okay. leave me alone. Like a, you should do an update. I don't know. It's they're tweaking it so frequently that every time it feels like okay, what's gonna hap- what's happening this time? Like another recent one, <clears throat> exiting the lane. There's one section of road where it's convinced that I'm exiting the lane every time. Mm. And I use this this section of road so frequently that I'm like, I want a way of like marking that as no, I'm not leaving the lane. Because every time it's, and I'm, and that's not what's happening. Right, and it's like, right. I, I want to drive a different way because of it. Yeah. I think you can contact Tesla in the car. Okay. All right. By just saying like, hey, this is like, crazy. This should be. This. This and should, they would know where. This should be like auto raise on suspension. I could just click yeah. a button right away. Like, was this correct? Particularly once the pattern has happened enough times. Like, do you really think I'm exiting the road on my way to work every single day at the exact same spot? Yeah, I think someone's ruining that data. Like maybe a previous Tesla that's just constantly incorrect. And then Tesla kind of has that data to map out your Tesla experience. Why am I getting canceled in India? What's that about? You know, who knows? What, what, explain that to me. Me explain you getting canceled? Yes, give me your speculation as to why. <laughs> there's, I don't your... know, there's some sort of beef going on over here. And it has something to do with Dalai Lama or what I did or didn't say. I don't know what it is, though. 